what is your status now? Are you single? Are you dating? Are you I'm found? single. Is that every not every year? It sounds like every year you're single. But I am. Tell I'm, you not, what I mean. Tell you, I'm trying to understand. I'm single. You like, know, I'm you single. Your, you got your own. It's like you're not like living at home with your family. You're a no. grown woman. I live in Miami. Successful. And very nice place you in know. Miami. I mean, I'm um I'm very meticulous about connections. Being honest, you know, um. I really want to. I want to get married. You know, I really do. I want to. I want to have like a beautiful wedding and have a great marriage and have a partner and do that entire thing. But somebody else got to want it too on the same level. You know what I mean? Like, I just. I just need that connection with the right person. And I'm patient. It's coming eventually. I'm sure. I'm just not into like. How, you know how those. You can see. I'm, I'm like. T. No, listen. There are people that feel like they have to like be in a relationship, right? True. But what is the point of being in a relationship that is not productive or happy or good? What is the point of that? You know, there's people, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if I've ever told you this. This might be like some real cool tea for you right now. I went seven years without even being sexually active. Seven entire years. My friends would say to me, what in the hell, Tedra? How are you like not going to have sex for seven years? And I would say, well, darling, in these seven years, how many orgasms have you had? So my thing is, I'd rather be doing something and doing it well and doing it good and enjoying it at the top notch of what it is than to just be doing something to do it. So when I tell you that year I come here and I tell you, oh, yeah, I have a boyfriend, you're going to know I'm in a real situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he's going to probably end up being my husband because I'm just not here for the games for, to play. Like, you know, I want to enjoy this. You know, I want to enjoy I want to be with somebody that wants to build something. I'm a very um, purpose-driven person. So just to have someone around to have around is purposeless, and I'm not into that. We could be doing other things with our time, you know? It's Because I remember when we were talking about that, and... It's a situation where many women will be sh not shocked, but they all look at like, you know, people say that you attract the energy you put out, mm. and your energy is about being positive, about love, it's about ownership, it's about progressing us as a people, uh, reinforcing the values that we should be sticking to. So I'll be thinking like, yo, you're Miami, do you know what I mean? Melanin's popping. <laughs> No, see, the thing is, when you're about all those things that are of substance, that might be too much for some guys. You know what I'm saying? They're not there yet. Maybe, you know? Yeah. It might be too much, like, oh, man. Like, and then, you know, I was told once by a friend, like, teacher, you travel a lot, and you're not able to be attentive to a man, you know? I was told before that um, you're very opinionated, you know? I've been told a lot of different things, and none of that is insulting to me because... The right guy for me, he's going to love it. You know what I mean? He's going to be like, oh, she's so smart. Like, she's so dope. But I'm the same kind of person that can sit and listen. It's just I need to be inspired. I make a living off being inspired. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if I'm, if I'm around you and you're not inspiring me, then you're draining me. Because you're, you're inspired, but I'm not. You know, and that's not cool. And, like, I just, just want to meet, like, a real king. Because I feel like we're going to come together and do something beautiful together. And when I get, when that guy comes, I have to be patient. I don't have a choice. You met my sons before. You haven't met them in there, like, in where they are now. They're some amazing young men. I can't just bring any man around them, you know. Like, he'll, he'll feel like, he'll feel like he don't belong, you know what I mean? <laughs> he really won't because we walk in our royalty. And I don't say that to sound arrogant. I think we all should know that we are royalty it's just we truly do know and we walk in it we know it's in our bloodline and we're humble but we understand who we are and i think that the right person will come along at the right time you know it's all god's timing i'm not i'm not pressed but i do want it and i like i put that out to god all the time i truly want to get married and you know have like a real union and build something i think that's what i'm missing to be honest with you it's crazy i've never said that before I think that's part of what I'm missing to become truly the woman that I'm going to become. And not because I need a man, but because God made me for a man. Do you understand what I'm saying? 1, that's a difference.